Hey everybody, it's Maggie from Personal Euphoria with today's plank story. It will be a long, lengthy uh, educational historical plank story. So hopefully that didn't make you just all like scroll on by. But if you don't want to do plank, you're going to sit up nice and tall and then pair movement with your breath. So you'll exhale to let yourself round forward and then inhale, let yourself inflate and stack back up. Exhale, curl at the spine, inhale, come back to tall. And just kind of feel almost like your breath is a pump having you move through that round and stack. And then see how you feel afterwards. All right, so the plank story. Uh, a, a little while ago, I was reading an article that was talking about this heart symbol we make with our hands and how unusual it is that um, we only just started doing this, that in the history of humankind, how very new it is and that there's no historical evidence anyone's ever done that before. And I was thinking, is that true? Like, how could that be? It seems so obvious, but we didn't do it when I was a kid. I don't know if there was a time in history people did it and it came back. Um, so anyway, with Valentine's Day approaching, it got me thinking, like, where does the heart symbol that we have for the heart come from anyway? And it turns out they don't know. There's lots of potential ideas, but it's really unknown. Um, they do know that it was around by the 15th century, but they think that might have been as early as the 13th or 14th century. So ideas of where it came from. Possibly people created that heart shape based on reading medical texts of what the heart was like and thinking that's what it would look like. I kind of like don't buy that because it doesn't look anything like an actual heart. So if you read what a medical text said, I'm, I'm not sure you'd come up with that. But um, also that maybe it looks like breasts or a butt and because it's about love and sexuality, maybe it came from there. My personal favorite is apparently... Uh, uh, there w was this plant that people would use as a form of birth control. And I guess we've used it so excessively it went extinct. This was back in medieval times, but the leaves are heart shaped. So people might have associated those leaves with love making and hence love and a heart. Uh, and so it came from that. Now, again, this is not necessarily fact. These are like guesses. So then I said, well, where's the history of Valentine's Day? And they don't know that either. There's lots of basic like potential unknowns. So it's thought to have come either from pagan tradition or Christian tradition. And if you follow the Christian tradition, there's like three versions of uh, who St. Valentine might have been. He might have been one of three different people uh, that were at the time a priest Valentine or like Valentino, something similar to Valentine. Um, so there is possibly um, under the rule of Claudius II, supposedly there was a priest Valentine who was maybe helping people escape from prison. And I assume we're supposed to think these are good people he's helping escape. He gets caught and put in jail and potentially falls in love with his jailer's daughter who would come visit him and sends her a note and signs it, your Valentine. And maybe that's where it came from. My personal favorite of the stories is that apparently Claudius II found that men were more willing to go off to war and fight in battle and it was easier to inscript them if they weren't married. So he banned young men from getting married and priest Valentine, Valentine may have secretly married young men and women so they could still get married, but then he's basically put to death for doing that. So maybe that's where Valentine's Day comes from. Uh, if it comes from pagan tradition, apparently they had a celebration on February 15th where they would like sacri sacrifice a goat, get a tie, dip it in blood, and then walk around like the villages hitting the crops and fields and women. And apparently everyone was just fine with this. And it was supposed to encourage fertility. Uh, and apparently... It's also possible that the English and the French felt or believed that February 14th was the date birds started mating. So perhaps Valentine's Day all comes from suspected bird mating habits. Um, 
but they do know the first like official Valentine that they have on record, a written like love note is from 1415. Uh, so Valentine's Day has been going on a long time. So whether you love Valentine's Day or like me, you are a bit of a Valentine's Day Scrooge. I hope you have a happy day on Wednesday. All right. Thanks for listening. Have a great day and keep 